Hello everyone here you are watching Dr. Bibin Kumar so in the series of AR stopper today I am having Sasi Kumar he is the uh, recently topped in ARS with the first rank and he is the, right now the PhD is calling the IRI so, so today is the fortunate that we are having the Sasi Kumar here and he will go he will inter uh, interact with you and uh, will clear your doubt regarding the preparation of the ARS as well as the net so Sasi please introduce yourself and share your strategy how you crack this uh, prestigious exam Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Hello, guys. I'm Shashi Kumar P from Karnataka. So I did my B.S. Agriculture and also M.S. Agriculture in the Department of Genetics and Plant Breeding in University of Agriculture Sciences, Bengaluru. So then I got selected for PhD program in Indian Agriculture Research Institute. So presently I am uh, pursuing third year PhD in the Department of in the Division of Genetics. So this is my. Uh, Brief introduction regarding introduction the... regarding myself. So now uh... hello. Now I will tell so simple strategies to clear NET and ARS in the uh, in the division in the department of genetics and plant breeding. So for the NET, it's very simple. You need to read everything. First of all, you should have a basic knowledge with respect to genetics, plant breeding, quantitative genetics, and also molecular biology. So everything. Apart from that, the, the recent uh, like um, world issues like uh, world issues and acts like PPFRA patent. So th these issues, world organization, world international institutes. So everything you should know briefly. So the best thing to clear net is just to revise as many times as the objective book of B D Singh and B K Prasad. The plant breeding objective book of B D Singh B K Prasad is very much enough because you will get more than 50% questions from, from them. that book huh? from that book you just revise thoroughly apart from that the simple Kundan Singh books objective books the, the, the those are more than sufficient you can revise within two weeks so you will definitely care next for the net, net, exam. net exam so many of these 20 are here they are also interested to know about the, how to create the ARS exam because you got first rank in ARS so here you study regarding the ARS okay Fine. So now I will tell what strategy I followed in ARS exam. So first thing is during my first attempt, I did not clear ARS. Okay. So this was your second. This is my second attempt. I have taken first time out of twenty-eight seats. So why? So because after in my first exam, I have failed in two theory. I have I have made so many faults. So what are the faults? Is first thing is I have not covered all the questions. I left ten marks. Two questions and five marks, three questions because of lack of time and lack of uh, knowledge about the type of questions it will come because I have not prepared for the problems but they have come where my time has been killed there and I have not prepared for differentiations like difference between these two things like that simple questions will be there so I have not prepared for them so my time wasted in thinking on those things if you leave any question your rank will be gone you just qualify for an interview so I also even though I have left question I qualified for an interview but I could not clear that so after coming from the exam everyone started writing the questions of previous exam so that if I not clear this time I will get in the next time but what I have did is I have sit for one hour and I have made a plan so what are the strategies I should follow so that I will get errors next time so first thing I kept in my mind is after coming in the in my first attempt after coming from the ARS I felt very bad because I could not able to write exam very well because in my PO or in, uh, in anything I was in a, I was very fond of biology and I used to write very well those exam and I used to get good marks in those thing, in those subjects but this exam I felt very bad myself because I could not complete the uh, complete whole questions and also I am not satisfied with the type of uh, right answer so what are the my faults so one is i did not practice for the exam second thing which i kept in my mind is next time when i go to write exam even though if i get ars or not my exam should be very well my answer whatever answer i have written now the examiner when he looks that answer he should feel very proud and i should come back i should come out of from the examination center with a greater satisfaction that was my first motto and i told to that to the day only to the junior sales. after coming to the exams i am i was very happy because i covered all the exams you were so satisfied i am greatly satisfied with my answers also so first thing practice practice make man perfect perfect i should i, I have practiced for this to the in a in in, in a gap of one month means after prelims i try to practice a little bit daily not daily up to three four days once because now 
in indian scenario after uh, means i did not i got jrf for microbiology i did not get for genetic supplement bidding so okay. that i, I left, your, no, after I bsc my, after bsc but i prepared well for uh, jrf yeah, exams jrf, JRF okay. exams okay. but i could not clear it because now I, i read thoroughly to the whole concept but the jrf is based on the memory based memory type object type question i did not study for like that means so from that experience i came to know that in for exams some exams you should have is one thing hmm. uh, can you give the some uh, important book for the jrf what you read during that time so you suppose like, many of the student there okay. uh, here for the even bsc they want to know the reference for book. jrf yeah for jrf actually uh, everyone knows that uh, B, uh, bd singh is the bible for the genetism plant breeding plant science apart yeah. from that uh, because now jrf pattern and uh, has been ch- changed i don't know okay, okay. you better ask with uh, Correct. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No problem. Because so many objective books are coming in the yeah, market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. everyone writing, everyone becoming the master, everyone writing so many objective books for general studies and subjects and uh, like that. Okay, you start uh, about the years. Ah, uh, years. Okay, fine. So now I I so I started practicing for three days or four days once. So that made me more confident because my mindset was to exams. So daily I was having my exams in a oftenly in a frequently. so that made me more confident about the writing so first thing is that and, and second thing is you should read uh, you should, first thing is uh, and second thing is what uh, i remember is einstein told so means the science is to explain in a simple way so in here as you will not get big deep questions highly concept highly deep concept based question you will never get so they will check your broad knowledge they will give simple headings and they will check they will check whether you know the concept what type of you can explain that concept so you sh- they will ask many most of a simple things only so we when we started preparing for exam now we go very deeply and we will neglect simple this is sometimes mistake or mistake. mistake this is our mistake so second thing i kept in mind is they will ask simple questions and i am damn sure i know answer for all those things i should write in a uh, systematic manner for the uh, systematic manner for those questions so i started reading in a simple headings okay best thing to read in the syllabus wise also or else no problem uh, you can read uh, with uh, whatever the bd sim book is there so mainly all most all syllabus covered in plant breeding book of bd sim so that is the first book and it is the bible for years oh, yes okay so most of questions come from plant breeding and quantitative genetics apart from these two you will get questions from g- genetics cytogenetics So, like it so the best books what i prefer is so one is genetics for B- bd sing you need to read genet uh, bd sing and for plant breeding this is must and should bd sing for quantitative genetics sing and narayan and dabulkar also because we should understand concept first in quantitative genetics so many people will see roughly they don't understand the concept so that makes very difficult for them to write in the exam so for that best thing is to read first dabulkar then read sing and narayan so that you will get the points means in exam you should write answer in a systematic way for that you will get a full ideas and also you read selection chapters few chapters from jr sharma uh, jr sharma and also from uh, chahal and goshal so these are this these are the few books so this is i think more than enough and so this these books only i have, uh, have, you have re- referred and also from that there are uh, many exam oriented uh, books written by few era scientists like simplified plant breeding and from in, in another one is uh, venkat reddy so that i think everyone is reading uh, those books so the those that is from the competitive point of the view. competitive man the, those will those will refer as a very short books short books short books and also act like a short notes okay. and it will cover most of the syllabus also they have written in a in a best manner way best manner. so before preparing for ars i think reading those books those uh, short uh, exam point of competitive books is better so okay. that you will we will get an idea how to read for the, exam. for the exam so okay. so these things so one thing is read properly read in a simple way many times what we will do we know the we will forget heading we know the content so that thing will also will happen so this is second so third for J, uh, in ars exam you will get most of differentiation problem related problems so whenever you are reading singan narayan and some other portions you should always compare comparison between the parts 
so like very simple questions like linkage and crossing over there will be a differentiation between linkage and crossing over we will never read those things so but they will come in the ars exam so for that you should prepare earlier and fourth thing is how to write the exam so for so any for the person for matter they will when they are correcting now your answer should be in a systematic way we should start from beginning to the end so that thing for five marks question you should write minimum of seven to ten points so highly choose to write answer in a points wise if at all not possible then you uh, you should explain the concept go with the conceptual type of explaining but whenever you don't know the um, uh, whenever you can possible to write answer in a points wise better to write in a points wise for five because some corrections uh, the examiners will look into the points and they will give marks for one point point five 0.25 like that the people will be there and in that you should put also best points like that in first three lines you should give best points and last three in middle you can if you if you don't know you can write abruptly also for that matter for 10 mark question you should minimum write 17 to 20 points because you will get two sizes uh, writing in the exam point of view okay so then try to underline the things so that is also one of the good habit when you write answer perfectly you write underlining underlining will make you uh, examiner feel better with respect to your answers so and better you go from beginning to end only first to you clear dashes two marks question then five marks then ten marks question you don't need to shift between uh, write uh, ten marks first like that uh, it will make some difficulty for you to uh, because you will not get so much of time so this is this is my my thought if you have some other intention that is also not a problem so then when you write answers now nah, when we give broad headings you should have a conclusive answers for those questions for example if they give male serity so it is also highly sorted questions male serity so in that you should explain uh, gms cms cgms uh, apart from this explanation you should give examples to the all type of answers whenever possible not uh, silly examples which are universal which are well known which are well represented examples and finally after writing for these types of question after writing you give one conclusion so that is will make answer more perfect like out of these uh, methods uh, these systems of male serity cgms is a better one because like this means this will make him feel perfect in quantitative type of questions you should write linear equation you should write anova those are the core things when you since it's a quantitative genetics is a mathematical you should explain in a mathematical way only because the old persons which are very strong in quantitative genetics when they come for corrections they will see uh, core core way of I mean, means in the best way of explain, explaining the uh, those things uh, you, can, you can't simply scribble the things in a quantitative genetics you should give anova you should give if their formula you should give so that is the uh, thus will may give a crux to your, ex, uh, your answers so this is the best uh, which i followed means i have one motto in my mind when i am going for exam so daily i used to prepare in my mind i am going to write uh, by practicing my mind is prepared for ars exam second thing in my mind is whatever happens my answer should be answer paper should be very nice i should get greater satisfaction after coming out from the uh, exam so what that krishna uh, told karma karte rava palke chinta mat karo so why i fault means i should write very well exam then i will get result exactly so i have written systematic answer and one more thing apart from examples if they are possible give graphs also for example in horizontal resistance and vertical resistance you can put uh, graphs also so for uh, disease growth curves like that so if possible try to give those graphs and try to uh, write differently answers because you will also read bd i will also read bd who will get best best marks those, those who write difference. different answers either you should change the type of writing exams or you should google it and get some more points those should be added but those should be added apart from common answers if you leave common answers write these answers you will not get answer because many person will not know the new examples or new things when they come for corrections so for this matter so best thing is write point wise second thing is you should write answer differently you should give examples use graphs 
or anything you can write with pencil directly try to do that so all these all the things i have followed when you don't know the question also you should make uh, you should take the um, uh, set up uh, how to write answer for those if you some thinkable questions will come so for that matter you whatever thoughts you get into the mind now you write all the points so that will help you to get some few marks few marks uh, if you are getting zero rather than, zero, rather, than rather than leaving the questions mm. so that will give bad impressions so these are my thoughts with respect to ars exams i think this is more than sufficient yeah so these were the all about what is strategy so actually I, I want to tell one thing everyone knows these things but no one follow follow so when you do smart work for the exam you will definitely get succeed everyone know how, uh, everyone know that we should practice but they will fear to practice fear to practice. so then they will fail and everyone know we should revise we should not read much this is enough we should but they will think extra notes don't follow others notes yeah. you fo- you read once but make sure you make your own notes only because uh when you see so many notes you keep on reading those things only it will not matter so best thing is make your own notes and revise more don't read so many books bd singh is enough in that you will get it. but make answers differently when you make notes uh, try to make answers very differently you correction you, when you do practice na you only correct with that if i am the examiner how much marks i will give this uh, this question what different points i would have written here what type i should have written these questions you should analyze daily so when you analyze you will become perfect so same thing i have did that things only i have i am telling you and this is i am telling with respect not only my experience in my room on my senior was also there he also we uh, he also followed my strategies we both i got first rank he got fifth rank so from our experience only we are telling Thank you. So thank you Sasi this was really very nice and uh, hope this information will be very useful to all the candidates who are preparing for the ARS especially for the gentleman planting so thank you Sasi thank and bye bye koi baat nahi and all the best bye bye